Now that we have a packed extension, let's go ahead and upload it to the Chrome Web Store. And I'm going to start by going to the Extensions tab. And at the very bottom, you'll see a link to get more extensions. So I'm going to click that over. And uh, in the Settings menu, you'll see something for the Developer Dashboard. Now, this will only work if you're logged into the Chrome Web Store using a non-pcc.edu account. So if you, my normal account is mark.goodman at pcc.edu. If I'm logged in that account, then the developer dashboard and a bunch of other features are disabled um, because of PCC privacy policies. So um, I'm logged into a Gmail account, um, mark.goodman.pcc.edu at gmail.com so that I can access the developer dashboard. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. So here's the Chrome Web Store and I have some notices, the developer dashboard, and uh, I'm going to add a new item. Then I'm going to choose an extension, choose file. I'm going to navigate to where my CRX file is. Oh, actually, this wants to have a zipped um, extension folder rather than a CRX file. It's going to make the CRX file. So, so let me go ahead and jump over to Downloads, and I'm going to zip up my Dict extension. And then that's what I'm going to upload here. and then hit Upload. Okay, so here's Dictionary, short name, not specified in Manifest. Um, I can add a detailed description. This is an example Dictionary Lookup extension based on WordNet is a demo for CIS 233W. That's probably enough. And then let's go ahead and upload a new icon. We'll grab that 128 one. Oh, it says 96 by 96, but it'll it'll down, downsize it. Um, I think most of the rest of this is optional. So let's try it without a screen image. I'm gonna leave all of these blank and see what it'll what it requires. So I'm going to link to a website. And call it a search tool. Item is free. Leave the regions. English. Call it public. So this is going to cost me $5 to register for the first one and then the rest are free. So um, I'm going to spend the $5. So let's go ahead and publish changes. Say OK. So I need a website link. Oh, I need to say HTTP. And let's try it again. OK, so before I publish, I have to spend $5. So I'll go ahead and say pay now.
and I'll use my Visa card, which I have on file already. So it's created, it's draft, let's publish, publish the item. Okay, so publishing in progress, and this could take a while. And uh, I'll come back when publishing in progress is done. Okay, so the extension showing up is published now. It didn't take too long, but uh, um, you have to not only wait for it to show as published in status after reloading, um, but also if you click on the link, it takes you to the page for the extension. And uh, it shows as published before this page is available. So. Make sure the page is available first. And then you can also search for the extension. So if I go back to the web store homepage and I search for my email address, here it shows up in the search list. So let's go to the page and I'm gonna go ahead and add to Chrome, add extension and it's been added to Chrome now. So I have two of them. I want to get rid of the other one. So let me go back to more tools, extensions. Um, so this is the one that was from the Chrome store. And this is the one that was not in the Chrome store, I believe. Actually, let's delete both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Delete that and then add to Chrome again. Okay, so it's been added. Let's go ahead and test it out. And it works fine.